Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club with Chitrans Nuri and today we're gonna install the most requested video for the installation of the Lineage OS. So we're just gonna install the Lineage OS today and first of all you're gonna download the Lineage OS and link to the Lineage OS will be down in the description and I must say that finding the Lineage OS for the Galaxy S6 Edge is not that easy and you also need the gap so that is google apps and you need to download that as well and there's a video about uh, getting the gaps and installing the gaps on any aosb or the stock android uh, rom and link to that video will be up on the card over here and also down in the description so let's get into it so first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna reboot our device into the custom recovery so let's power off our device and to go into the custom recovery we're just gonna press volume of key home key and power key at the same time and now we're gonna let go of the power key and now we're gonna go in wipe and we're gonna go in advanced wipe and we're gonna select the delvic art cache system data and cache and we're gonna swipe to wipe and we're gonna go back back and back and we're gonna go in install and we're gonna select the lineage 14.1 and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash so this is my first time installing the Lineage OS, so we're gonna wait for it now. So the ROM is installed now and it took uh, unexpectedly long, it took about 3-4 to four minutes to install, so we're gonna reboot the system now. So the end donates the Nougat I guess. And I think the device just booted up so we're just gonna quickly set it up and first of all I think right now the ROM is looking really nice so we're just gonna quickly set it up so the device just started and first of all I should say that it is not really that fast that I hope the stock Android would be I think that the Nexify ROM is was faster than this. It is just that it is a little bit laggy here and there. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the gaps on it. So right now it does not have any Google application. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna again reboot into the custom recovery. So the device is off now and we're gonna just go into the custom recovery again we're gonna press the volume of key home key and power key at the same time and now we're gonna let go of the power key and once again the tutorial video on downloading the google applications and installing them will be down in the description now we're gonna go and install and we're gonna select the open gap arm 64 7.1 micro and i downloaded the micro version so we're gonna uh, select this and swipe to confirm flash So in the installing it says face direct and face unlock so I would be really excited to see that. So it's done installing and we're gonna reboot the system. So let's go into here and as you can see you have all the Google applications now. So let's see if we have the um, Google Assistant and uh, let's see you have two launchers over here so first of all you have the budget whatever it is and it is this one I guess so let's go into settings and as you can see the phone is lagging here and there and let's go into about device and you have your android version as the 7.1.2 which is the latest version which is a really great thing to have uh, so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys